Jay Taylor. I'm the editor of Jay Taylor's Gold Energy and Tech Stocks newsletter. It's a weekly and a monthly publication. I also host a radio show called Turning Hard Times into Good Times. Uh, I'm here at the Metals Investor Forum. It's uh, March 2nd, 2019, and I'm really pleased to have with me Dr. Quentin Henning. Uh, he is the chairman of Noble Resources, a company that I'm very proud to say I picked up early for my newsletter. My uh, subscribers have done very well with this stock. Uh, so I'm really pleased to welcome uh, Quentin Henning. Thanks Thank for joining too. me today. And uh, Quentin, uh, I was always really intrigued by this story because you talked about the Whitwaters Rand deposit in South Africa as one of the greatest gold deposits, if not the greatest. I mean, there's something like 40% of all the gold that's ever been mined in the history of man has come out of that area. You were in the hunt for many years. Where could there be another Whitwaters Rand deposit? You come up with novel ideas about how the Wits was formed which led you to Western Australia to the Pilbaro uh, Craton. So uh, you've, you've made this, this discovery. I mean, other people were finding gold, but you had the, uh, the, the notion that it wasn't just uh, a few places, that this was really a very massive Whitwaters Rand like deposit. Now, you come up with this uh, high, very nuggety uh, Phenomenon. Very the nuggety issues is really what you're trying to overcome. Correct, yeah. That's the primary area. You've got three major areas that you're looking at right now. But just to maybe briefly educate people, talk to our viewers about the three projects you have and how you're looking to overcome this sampling issue of knowing how much gold you have and then how to mine it profitably. Sure, yeah. Going back to your comment about the Witwaters and the gold there is, is relatively fine grain compared yes. to what we're dealing with. So, yes. you know, it's sometimes uh, when you go off looking for, you know, something, you find something that's similar, but so. it's also quite different in, in regards. So, uh, in our case, coarse gold. We're dealing with very coarse gold systems, Beaton's Creek. You know, the, the gold particles, like the little nuggets you see are half gram, yeah. you know, that kind of size. Comet well. Uh, well, they're sometimes they're multi-gram, you know. Yeah. Edgina sometimes they're you know ten plus gram, you know. So, the very coarse gold system. It's a, an extremely uh, you know coarse deposit for you know compared to almost anything else on the planet. Um, a lot of mining companies, you know, they see coarse gold, they they run. They like run. This is just too big of a challenge. But but we understand the geology first of all about how these systems form you know these these things were deposited in an ancient basin uh, at the time you know similar time to the Witwatersrand in south africa so the the continuity of the conglomerates is very good so that level we feel comfortable it's about assessing grade so we we've had to uh, you know uh, undertake bulk sampling uh, starting in beaton's creek a few years ago you know 50 kilo samples then we, when we found Karatha, you know, we started taking 300 kilo samples, not big enough, five ton <laughs> samples, yeah. And now we've gone back to Beaton's Creek and we've taken the knowledge we learned at Karatha and applied it there, where we've been doing two ton samples. These are extraordinary measures to, to quantify yeah. grade, but uh, they're, they're what's required for this type of system. Uh, one of the beauties about Edgina, for example, is that the coarse gold uh, has been eroded out of the conglomerates and reconstituted into the gravel horizon. So there we can actually dig the material. We don't have to you know, uh, crush and grind the rock. We can actually just process the, the dirt directly. But you know, we, we have learned a tremendous amount over the past few years uh, and we now have a good handle on how to tackle these things. And right. you know, ultimately it does take a, a bit of a leap of faith to you know, understand the geology, but also a kind of a statistical approach to to start looking at developing resource around that. Uh, developing the resource and uh, uh, it's, it's difficult to know. You just can't put a bunch of drill holes down closely spaced and come up with yep. numbers because it's so nuggety. But you're also looking in terms not only of at figuring out what the grades and, and the tonnage uh, might be on these different deposits, but you're also looking at some uh, uh, some some really new ideas about how to mine it as well and I know you're doing something with sorting technology which yeah. thank thankfully due to computing power and new technologies you can actually very quickly as I understand it as you're mining the material uh, can spit out the the barren rock and, and collect the good stuff and yeah. Uh, you know, th this is an unconventional deposit. Yeah. We're looking at unconventional means yeah. of processing it. You know, really, no company has attempted to, to concentrate 
uh, gold directly. You know, yeah. Usually sorting technology is used to say cull out uh, waste rock or something like that. Right. In this case, we're actually concentrating the gold using a sorting technique. Right. Uh, what's remarkable is the initial test work we've done is showing very good recoveries. Uh, you know, if, if you look at the concentrates, they're very small mass. You know, we can take one ton, condense it down to maybe two or three kilos of material, mm -hmm. and capture much of the gold in, in that rock. So it, it is remarkable. Tremendous yeah. savings yeah. it would be. Yeah. So your, I think it's your Comet Well project is where you have the sorting capability. Yes. Some of the others, Beaton's Creek, no, it's the the the, the particle the uh, gold nuggets are too small, yeah. or, or the ro the particles are too small. And same with Caratha, you won't be using sorting there, but you're using other methods to get a handle on that's correct. I, and now yeah, the so. question uh, was asked of you earlier today by Brent Cook very well regarded yeah. uh, newsletter writer uh, ask you whether could you ever really assay this and know what you what the grades are in this material and maybe you would just uh, yeah I think Brent Brent's question was more about can we actually put a resource to these these deposits right and I would say yes we we're starting to get a handle on how to do that uh, Beaton's Creek is is kind of our test case we're going to come out with a revised resource there shortly uh, really we're using a geostatistical approach uh, much like you would for a diamond deposit so mm -hmm. th you know while it's nuggety uh, there there is geological uh, you know uh, construct for for doing resource around this type of system uh, mainly for diamonds and things like mm -hmm. that but uh, it is possible yes yeah, and I think that what I would like my subscribers and viewers to realize is that this, if you thought this was just a small isolated area, you wouldn't be going to these extents, no. I think. It's the fact that you have, I think you've said, hundreds of square kilometers of these uh, conglomerate beds that That's host correct. the gold. So it's a real challenge to figure out what the grades are to, to assemble a resource. Uh, but once you get that figured out, I think the payday could be very substantial. That's correct. Yeah, these these systems are vast. Right. You know, they're they're sheet like continuous deposits. You know, Edgina, for example, uh, we can move forward fairly quickly. So, and I think you'll see some news around that over the the next few months that shows how we can fast well, track it. Oh, so new. So, uh, before we conclude our discussion, what might we look for, and how soon? What are some of the drivers that? Sure. We... Let's let's touch on each project. So, Beaton's yeah. Creek, we'll see a resource upgrade shortly. Uh, significant resource upgrade. At uh, Edgina, we're going to start work shortly. Uh, you'll see an aggressive program of bulk sampling, but also trial mining there. We have a mining lease, that's great. Uh, at Caratha and Comet Well, we have uh, the trial sorting, but we now use that data to produce our mineralization report and actually start working on converting the E's to an M to a mining license. But we also plan trial mining later this year and, ho and hopefully utilize that, uh, that sorting technology. Right, and you have some major mining companies that are aware of what you're doing. Sure. Kirkland yeah. Lake being one, and also, I think, a uh, company in Japan, uh, Sumitomo. Yes, like, Sumitomo. Is yes. also and, very yeah, interested. Yeah, I don't in, want to forget. In, yeah, they, we've signed an MOU, yeah. and we plan to right. work with them. Yeah. Excellent. What's well, exciting, Quentin? I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you, Jay. Wonderful story. Thank you. Thank you.